You think heat pumps don't work in extreme winter conditions, do you? Well, we went to Grand Forks, North Dakota. That's where we are right now. It's negative three degrees outside. And our Mr. Cool Universal Heat Pump is heating the home wonderfully. So why Grand Forks, North Dakota, you ask? Well, on average, it's the coldest city in the lower 48 states. I know you think a heat pump isn't supposed to work in extremely cold conditions, but the Mr. Cool Universal Central Heat Pump System is here to change everything you thought about heat pumps. When we got here, the low temperature was negative 21 degrees. Right now, it's negative three degrees. So please continue watching this video so you can see how the heat pump works in North Dakota in extreme winter conditions and how it actually keeps a home comfortable. I'm gonna go inside because I'm freezing. Grand Forks is home to the harshest winter weather. Its coldest month is January with an average high temperature of 16 degrees Fahrenheit and an average low of negative three degrees Fahrenheit. Total accumulated snowfall throughout the year typically results in about 47 inches and the lowest temperature on record is negative 43 degrees Fahrenheit. So in other words, it gets really cold here. The house where we installed the unit is located just off of North 25th Street. Built in 1941, this house is about 1,500 square feet with R13 insulation in the walls and R30 insulation in the ceiling. We replaced a gas furnace with a two to three ton Mr. Cool Universal heat pump. This particular unit works as an upflow and horizontal system. We also did not install an auxiliary heat strip just so we could see how well it would perform. First, the installers put in the air handler and measured the best way to connect it to the existing ductwork. Then they mounted the outdoor condenser a couple of feet off the ground to protect it from the snow. To connect the system, we used a Mr. Cool Quick Connect pre-charge line set, so the installers didn't have to charge the system or vacuum the lines. With the lines connected and the valves open, the system was wired into the house's breaker box. Both the air handler and the condenser run off of 240 volts. Since we're not typically located in North Dakota, we set up sensors throughout the system so we can monitor its performance whenever we leave at the end of the week. We installed a Honeywell T10 Pro Smart thermostat which allows us to monitor the outdoor ambient temperature based on the Wi-Fi location of the home as well as the indoor temperature. We are also measuring the condenser's power by installing a sense reader in the breaker box. This will show us how often the Mr. Cool Universal goes through a cycle, how often it goes into defrost mode, and its general power usage. For the supply air and the return air, we're using sensor push. These sensors were placed in the ductwork and feed information to the sensor push app so we can monitor the unit's performance in real time. We tried to place one of the sensors outside so we can measure the outdoor ambient temperature right next to the house, but it was so cold outside that it froze almost immediately and it just wouldn't work. Now it's just a matter of measuring its performance. We're staying in the house for a week and the forecast is, well, cold. So it's about 2.40 in the morning and this house is warm. I'm gonna do a screen recording so you can see how the sensors that we have in place are measuring the system's performance. So as you can see, when we select the Honeywell thermostat app, the house is maintaining 70 degrees. When you tap on the weather, you can see that it's negative 24 outside and it's basing it on the Wi-Fi here, um, which shows the zip code is uh, 58203. Now with the Sense app, we can check out how the weather has been performing throughout the night. You can see that it's consistently going through cycles, and when we hit later in the evening around 10 p.m., the unit went into defrost mode. Then it kicked on, and it's been going ever since, but it's maintained 70 degrees. Now when we check out the Sensor Push app, we can see that the supply air is hovering around 86 degrees, and the return is about 68. The indoor ambient sensor which is in the kitchen says it's 69, the thermostat says 70. Um, so I'd say it's performing pretty well. Now keep in mind that this unit does not have auxiliary heat installed and there's no backup heat anywhere in the house. This is just the Mr. Cool Universal at its base level, heating this house at 70 degrees. 
when it's negative 24 outside. That's awesome. So the temperature inside the house maintained 70 degrees throughout the night, which is just incredible. So we got this nifty little thermal camera that you can connect to your smartphone. It's from FLIR. It actually seems pretty accurate. And this is just a visual to show you how well the Mr. Cool Universal is heating throughout the house. Okay, so we're gonna start this test in the bedroom. Uh, for reference, this is the palm of my hand, and it is measuring at around 90, 91 degrees. Um, which the average body temperature should be around 98.6 degrees. So just keep that in mind as I go through the house and look at each vent. Um, so this first vent here in the bedroom, it's nice and toasty. We go across the hallway to the bathroom. It's actually very warm in here. Then over here, across the hall in the dining room area. Very warm vent. Then across the way is the kitchen. And you can see the floor right there is looking very hot. And there's a vent right there. And you can pull back from the kitchen, and go over to the living room area. vents seem to be measuring about the same temperature. So let's go down to the basement where the air handler is. You'll see the main vent in the hallway. And then in this room is where the air handler is installed. So there's the air handler right above it. You notice all the very warm ductwork, just pumping out through the rest of the house. And of course, the line set. The connection is really warm. So one of the technicians who was installing the unit yesterday was pretty skeptical about a heat pump heating in North Dakota, especially down at negative 24 degrees. But he asked me to keep him updated through text throughout the night, and I did, and he was pretty blown away by how the unit performed. So I asked him if he would come back and just kind of give us his thoughts about the Mr. Cool Universal heat pump and how well it's doing here. I was 100% skeptical on what the unit would actually be able to do. With the cold that we get here, I've never seen a heat pump put up this kind of heat at those temperatures. Considering we just had a 32 degree split across the unit with six below outside. I'm impressed that it would even maintain temperature in an old house like this, considering it's, you know, it's a real world application because it's not a well insulated house, it's old. There's no other way to put it. It's not nice clean ductwork. it's an old system, so I'm, impressed with what it will do. The, the install went actually really smooth considering it was as cold as it was outside. I was kind of curious about the line set and with it being a pre-charged system, but the charge seems to be spot on and the units were actually working well. I've never seen a product perform like this one. I actually would stand behind the product now. So, after a few days in Grand Forks, it is very reasonable to think that it is the coldest city in the lower 48 states. But the Mr. Cool Universal has proven itself. And if you can install a Mr. Cool Universal here and stay warm through the winter, you can install one anywhere.